It's wonderful to be with all of you here in Gaston Hall for this special celebration marking 50 years of our Community Scholars Program. Approximately 1,700 community scholars have graduated from Georgetown. Faculty and staff have developed ways to support our scholars through the program's summer session, seminars, study sessions, social events, mentoring, and much more. From the class of 1972, the first class of scholars to graduate from Georgetown to the class of 2022, we're honored to welcome so many members of the Community Scholars family back to campus today. Georgetown was not in my realm of possibilities. This black Native American girl growing up on a reservation, there's a letter from Georgetown and it's fat. We see how much it's gonna cost. We know that we can't afford it. My grandfather never made it past sixth grade. And he said, he said, he said, if you go, I'll sell all the cattle. As I drove up on campus, I saw a group of students that looked like me. And I was like, it's kind of strange at Georgetown. <laughs> and I walked up, and it was a group of students that were there, part of a community scholars program. Going through the process, I didn't appreciate it until I graduated from Georgetown. And when I graduated, and I'm getting a little sentimental, it gave me determination. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Keishawn Henderson, class of 2012. I can't explain to people just how much Georgetown has meant to me. When I got here, I just thought I knew everything there was to know about being me. But then I got to Georgetown, I was like, oh wait, there's some other, this is a little bit, you have to peel this a little bit back. It told me not to be afraid and that I didn't have to apologize for being this like outspoken black girl from Detroit, Michigan, from an inner city, that that was okay. Like I can be my authentic self and not have to apologize for my identity. The impetus for the Community Scholars Program came from the assassination of Martin Luther King and the riots in Washington occurred right in 1968. It had an immediate impact on the university in realizing it needed to do more to be a citizen of this city. Now, of course, it's a national program. Georgetown's a global university, and yet we still are committed to that Community Scholars Program. One of the things that convinced me to come here and stay here is that after talking to the president, the senior vice president, the vice president, that they were serious. We could really jump in there and do some serious work. I always felt someone had my back. If they had my back, they had the students' back. We've seen it work really well and blossom into a program that I think capitalizes on all of the potential of people who otherwise might have been overlooked. We've really increased our network of people who are influencing uh, our government, our corporations, community as a whole. It's not just benefiting Georgetown, it's benefiting everyone. This is probably the most important work that Georgetown does. The institution needs it and, and, and the country needs it. It's important to me. If no one had reached out to me, it wouldn't have been as easy. I'm kind of stubborn, so I would have done it, but it wouldn't have been as easy. I've got to express my gratitude for those who had the vision and the courage to put together a program that planted seeds of opportunity for so many.